ladies and gentlemen. It's November 29th, 2018 at 6.05 p.m. And we're at Fairview High School for the Fairview High School Lady Jackets taking on the Harpeth Indians. I'm here with Anaya Lavender. My name's William Cundiff. And recording for us today, we have Bruce Johnson, Stephen Rocco, and Sean Grayson. Starting at Fairview High School, we have Summer Anderson, number five, Gracie Selby, number 10, Chloe Lee, like number 12, Brooke shot. Viser, 14, Naylin Yeager, number 20, Riley Dillingham, 24, Kelsey Gossage, number 30, Claudia Fernandez, 32, Kendall Spicer, 34, Presley Walls, number 40, Laura Valine, 45, Haley Butcher, 52. Looks like an out-of-bounds on Harpeth. Excuse me, Fairview. Score right now, 3-0. Passing the ball. And the shot, it's good. And she makes it. This the game is tied, tied at three. Up. With the ball at the moment, Chloe Here's Lee. number 12. <laughs> oh, but she misses the layup. Gracie Shelby passed the. Harpeth has stolen the ball. And the Indians move down court with the ball. We have number 21, Danny Wicks, who missed the shot. But here comes number 10, Gracie Shelby. But unfortunately, Out of bounds on the Indians. Lexi Hearn has went to the bleachers. Number 20, Naylon Yeager passes in. Back to Naylon Yeager from Chloe Lee. From Naylon back to Kelsey. And another score for the Lady Jackets. Naylon Yeager with the layup. Nice pass down the half, down the sideline. Trying to steal, and foul. there's going to be a foul. I'm a pro at this. And Harpeth it will be. Number 21. Looks like another foul on Fairview. Can the Spice just stole the ball, but unfortunately they had to stop. Pass to number 21, Danny Wicks. Now to number one. Back to Danny Wicks. Oh, but she misses the layup. And we have number 12. Brooke Beiser, okay. Oh, but number 20, Naylan Yeager misses a three. Score at the moment, five to three. Fairview winning. Looks like Gracie Shelby comes out. And they brought in Riley Dillingham, number 24. And a pass out to the Fairview bench. Oh. 
number 15. Raleigh guard number 15. Lexi Heem with the ball. Passes to number 20. Here comes Chloe Lee. Guard number 21. He's Danny trying to Witch. go for a layup. Oh, but she stepped out of bounds. Looks like it will be Fairview's ball. Looks like a push on Chloe. And Chloe Lee still. Okay. Chloe done stole the ball. Here comes Passes Riley. It. Passes it to shot. Kendall Spicer. And Riley Dillingham with the layup. Okay, Riley with the layup. That brings the score nine to three Fairview. About to be three minutes left in the first quarter. And it looks like an add on. Bounds. The Indians, it'll be Naylon Yeager passing in to Chloe Lee. Chloe Lee with the ball. Pass Passes to it to Naylon Yeager. Ridge Barely, but Riley Dillingham tries to put it in. Looks like a penalty. Foul. It'll be a free throw line for Kelsey Gossage. Will she make it? Will she not? Let's see. Steps up to the line. And she makes and the first one. She makes it. Giving it an 8-3. That'll make it 9-3. Pass over the hands of the Jackets. It's gonna be an Out of bounds on the Lady Jackets. Stolen from McKenna's from Kendall Spicer. Chloe Lee gonna pass the ball in. Another foul. That'll be two fouls for Lady Jackets and one foul for the Indians. Nice jump up to get the ball. Passes the 15. Lexi Hale. Number like 15 another foul for there. the Indians with the free throw. Oh, but she misses it. She has another go for a free throw. Will she make it? And she, she makes, makes that it. 9-4 game. And a foul with the shot. The score is now 11-4. Two shot minutes in the game. Number 30, Kelsey Gossage. Riley Dillingham is checking in the game. Here is Kelsey Gossage with a free throw and she makes it. The Thank score is now 12-4.
William, how do you think the Lady Jackets are doing so far? Well, they're doing good on offense and defense. <laughs> they're doing good on offense. They need to keep the defense up work. Oh, and the ball is out of bounds. It'll be Fairview's ball, number... Twenty-four. Here's Riley Yeager, Yeager, guarded by number fifteen for the Indians. Riley Dillingham almost had a three, but unfortunately, she did not make it. Both teams are doing pretty snazzy, William. Yes, even though it's in the early, it's still pretty early in this game. Harpeth does have a chance to come back. There's a foul. That'll make four to fouls to two fouls. And checking into the game is Kendall Spicer. Another penalty, but with the shot made. Indians are getting a free throw. Chloe Lee now comes out of the game. That one oh, is not made. Oh, but she made. does not make it. Riley, number 24, with the snag. Passes it to Naylon Yeager, who's... Oh, it is the Indians ball. Looks like it was an offside on the... Indians coming Jackets. down half court, guarded by number 10, Gracie Shelby and Riley Dillingham. Trying to go for a three, will she make it, will she not? But she goes High for a ball layup and, and it makes scored. it. Scores now 12 to eight, with a minute and 30 seconds left in the game. Looks like a pushing foul there. Six fouls for the Lady Jackets and three fouls for the Indians. And we have Naylan Yeager with the ball. Gracie Shelby will pass it in. She'll pass it to number 20, Naylan Yeager. Naylan back to Gracie. Grace will hand the ball off to Kelsey. Well, Kelsey will give it to Kendall on the attempt of a three. Coming down half court, Indians have the ball. Trying to go for a layup, but she drops the ball. That'll be seven fouls for the Lady Jackets now. Fairview really needs to watch and cut down on the fouls here. Indians are getting some free throws. It is 54 seconds left in the first period. And she'll make the first shot. That's number 21, Danny Will Wicks. she make the next one? Will she not? I don't know. Let's see. And she makes it. Scores now 12 to 10. Indians are down by two points. The clock is ticking in this first period. Here comes Naylan Yeager at half court, who throws it to Riley Dillingham, who passes it to number 30, Kelsey Gossage, to, to Haley Buttry, to Kendall Spicer. And it looks like who an out of bounds. And it's the Indians ball. I pass with success. As number 22, 
Kara Stewart moves down court. Gives it to 21. Number 30, Kelsey Gossage with the steal. Kelsey Gossage tried to make a layup. Rebounded by number 21, Danny Wicks. Shot. Tried that is the first buzzer, period. Did not make it. First period ends with a score of 12 for Both the Lady Jackets and up. 10 for the Harpeth Indians. Naya, while we have this break, how was your day today? My day was good. How was yours, William? It was alrighty. It's pretty good. A little chilly outside, if I say so. Pretty chilly. From a game that was looking one-sided, Harpit has brought it back up to a two-point deficit. Can't say that they're a team to doubt. Cannot say that. They now report back on the court. And we have Naylee Yeager with the ball, who passes it to Chloe Lee, running down half court. To get no Spicer against to Riley. Riley Dillingham with the layup. Score is now 14 to 10. The layups here have seen to be a pretty smart move here for the Lady Jackets. That one was a three-pointer, missed barely. Now Danny Wicks looking for the layup. Kelsey Gossage with the steal. Moving down, Danny Wicks will steal it after, it looks like the knee hit the ball. Trying to find an opening, and she does. Okay, going for a layup, but she misses it. Misses it, but regains a rebound, and we'll get a penalty. That is number two. That'll be eight fouls for the Lady Jackets now. Lizzie Watson. She warms up for the free throw, and, and she makes she it. she makes it. The Indians are catching up, William. Sure are. Three-point game at the moment. And that one rolls in as well. The Indians now, are down by two points. Now Chloe Lee with the ball. Just past half court. Riley Dillingham with the ball. Passes to Kendall Spicer. Kendall Spicer to Naylon Yeager. Or Naylon will give it to Chloe Lee. Back to Naylon. Gives it to Kendall. Shot. Oh, Bounce but off she the back does not corner. make it. Danny Wicks with the ball again. Number 15 on the shot, just short. That's Lexi Hearn. Number two shot, kind of swayed out. But Leah oh, Adams makes the, the shot on a layup. Looks like there's a time. Let's 
If you were to guess, how many miles do you think they run per game? Mm, I'll have to say about maybe 30? <laughs> I don't know. I'd say about eight. Chloe Lee will take the ball. This is a tied up game. And I believe that Arpith had just scored. Okay, Lady Jackets with a layup. The last three shots, but now Fairview takes the lead back again. Here comes Chloe Lee. Stolen by number 30, Kelsey Gossage. Okay, Kelsey with a snag. Who will pass it to Kendall, who will give it off to Chloe. And another foul will be called. Eight fouls to four fouls. The Lady Jackets are winning that competition too. <laughs> Tries to make the layup is Haley Buttry. She won't. Chloe Lee will get it off a rebound. She'll get it again off another rebound. And it'll go into the hands oh, of number 22. Oh, but the 22. Indians have stolen the ball. Cara Stewart looking for a space to go. She does not find one. And Riley Dillingham checks into the game. Passes to number 34. Leah Adams, who gives it to 15. Lexi Horn, her. My bad. I'm having a swell time, William. I'm glad for you, Anaya. Okay, Kelsey with the snag. Gave the ball to number 12, Chloe Lee. Chloe having some time here. Did Naylon Yeager show will give it to? Naylon looks the shot just a little too low. Oh, but the ball goes out of bounds. There's three minutes and 48 seconds left on the clock here. We're in the second period. And the Indians are looking to move the ball as it's a two point game. Nice wide open here pass. Here comes Haley Butchery. You get another wide open. Misses the three to take the lead. It is still a two point game. Gives it off to Chloe Lee with the rebound. Here's Riley Dillingham with the ball who passes it to Kelsey Gossage. Up shot. And it's made. Okay. Number 12 with the three. That's Chloe Lee. Woo woo. <laughs> Here comes Haley Butcher. Oh. Oh, Looks like she got hit pretty hard. And it does not look like Allie Bledsoe agrees with the call. Maybe she does. She kind of chucked that ball there for a minute. Couldn't really tell. Misses the shot, stolen by Kelsey Gossage. I think there might be another penalty. Looks like Naylon Yeager is. Oh, looks like the Indians have gotten a foul. That'll be nine fouls for the Lady Jackets and five fouls for the Indians. Riley Dillingham with the ball. 
Passes to Naylon Yeager. They're moving down court. It is a five point game. Riley Dillingham with the ball. Riley Dillingham looking, oh, she looks like she can down here a player. Naylon trying to find some space. Moving up court, passes to Kelsey Gossage. There's a penalty. Chloe Lee with the ball. We have two minutes and 22 seconds left in the game. To make it three. And another foul on number 34, she was pushing. That'll be a free throw for Kelsey Gossage. I think she's been up to the line twice. Think she's gonna make you, William? There's a 50-50 shot chance. I bet she's gonna make it. And, and she, she does. does. 20, it's a, now a six point game. Gets another layup, I mean not a layup. Free throw. And she'll get that one. It is now a seven point game. Harpeth going for a free throw, and she does not make it. Looks like there was a penalty on him, on Fairview. Harpeth's kind of racking up the fouls here in the second period, if I say so myself. Yes, William. But they are kind of coming up with the lead. With the free throw, bounces off the backboard, and no good. Now for her second shot. Will she make it? Will she not? And oh, she makes and it. she makes it. And now it is a six point game. Ever so big. Two three pointers and they could be back in it. Looks like that pass was tipped. Kelsey Gossage will take it in the court. Kendall Spicer looks to Spice it up with a three, but does not make it. Looks like here's an injured player. That's number 15, Lexi Hearn. Hope she gets better and not out of this game for good. She was a key player. Meanwhile, there will be number one. Oh, but she misses it. She'll miss it. Oh. She'll make that one, however. Riley Dillingham moving down court now. Passes to Chloe Lee. Haley Putzer with the ball. Passes it to Riley Dillingham. Passes to Kendall Spicer. Under a minute left to play, ladies and gentlemen, in the second period. Here's Riley Dillingham with the ball. Yeah. 
Wide open court, nope, not no more. Passes to 21, Danny Wicks. Tempts to three. Haley Butchery with the snag. But the drop. Harper trying to get back in this before halftime. 17 seconds left. First Where they're gonna quarter. hit it. Trying Danny to go Wicks. for a layup. Oh, but she Looks like a foul, which will stop the clock. Harper kind of fell behind in the start of this one, but I think they still have a chance. Agree? Mm -hmm. I don't know. And she'll make that one. That's Danny Wicks. She's kind of on fire for these Indians today. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah. It is now a three-point game with 10 seconds left in the second period. The first quarter, oh wait, it's about to be halftime. Shot. And that's halftime. Alrighty guys, we are back. Once again, the camera crew is Bruce Johnson, Steven Rocco, and Sean Grayson, my name is William Cundiff. I'm here with... And now you're laughing. <laughs> Fairview will start off with the ball, and Aileen Yeager will pass to Chloe Lee. Chloe Lee is a sophomore. Aileen Yeager. Passes it back to Chloe Lee. The score is 21-18 in the third period. And Fairview will score, as you can hear from the excitement of the crowd. We have a lot of people here from Harpeth. Glad they could come out and see this game. Been a pretty good game by so far. And a three point is swish. What do you think about that? Looks like number 15. Six point game. Once again, with two three pointers and a good defense to stop, Harpit can tie this game up. Oh, Boy, there's a with switch. The, three, the score From is now deep. 29 to 20. The good thing about Harpeth is they're not rolling over and playing dead since they are down nine points. They're sticking in and playing alive in this game. Kaylin Yeager. Yeager going for a layup. Kendall Spicer takes a minute to grip and loses her offense. Chloe Lee. Passes to Nalen. Kelsey with the layup, no. And it looks like an even rebound, but there's gonna be a whistle for, I think it's a foul. It is, it will be. It'll be the Indians ball. They're moving down. It's 
score is now 29 to 22. Five minutes left. <laughs> Where we got the whistle blown on for here is it looks like it's a another foul on Fairview. They just gave him the ball. I mean, it's a decent sized crowd tonight. Harp is not looking to take that L tonight, but Fairview ain't either. Okay, Chloe Lee with the ball. Here comes Riley Dillingham. Fairview can fight Bobby Dawson. Fairview can fight Bobby Dawson and still win the game. Okay, here comes Chloe Lee, who passes it to number 30, Kelsey Gossage. Kelsey finds a wide open Nalen Yeager with the shot too far overboard. Oh, but the ball goes out of bounds. It looks like it'll be a time break or time out here. Time to resume session. Third period, four minutes and 38 seconds left to score 29 Fairview, 22 Harpeth. Chloe Lee will have the ball on their own side of the court. Nice steal, but it looks like you're going to have a pushing foul. Layup failed by Riley Dillingham out of bounds. It's going to be Fairview's ball again. Zero fouls for the Lady Jackets and two fouls for the Indians. That's a good turnaround. Three-point shot and just short of the net. Moving down court. Three-pointer, 29 Fairview, 25 Harpeth. Here comes Chloe Lee at half court, who passes it to number 30, Kelsey Gossage, guarded by number 40 for the Indians. She will not make the shot. There is a whistle blowing. And she makes it 30 to 25, and now it's a five point game. She has another shot. Will she make it? Will she not? And she, will she make makes it. it. Six point game. Nice screen there. Way too high for the shot. And it'll be Harpeth's ball in their own territory.
Number 21 going for a three, but she does not make it. And number three. Kendall Spicer gives it to Gracie Spicer Shelby, who's got a wide open spot and looked like she was foul. And she was. She had that one in the bag. Gracie has another shot with a free throw. Let's hope she makes it. And, and she Gracie makes Shelby it. will make the shot. Number 27 for the Indians going for a layup. Here's number 15. And she does not make it. She is and the ball shy of the, the net. Both teams are gathering up. 252 left in the third period. It's 32-25 Jackets. In the on top. I want to give a shout out to my friend Sonny Langford. Looks like the Fairview side is motivated here to go. Here comes Chloe Lee with the ball. On the hard. Riley Dillingham going for a three. Here comes Chloe Lee, who passes it back to Riley Dillingham. Nice steal and shot. Danny Wicks with the shot, makes her own rebound. Too short of the net. Riley Dillingham will receive the ball. Here comes Riley Dillingham going for a layup. Oh, but she does not make it. Riley's looking a little parched again. We have multiple security efforts here in this game. Number 21, Danny Dix, the Chloe Lee, guard number 21, trying to go for a layup. Going for a three, but she does not make it. Oh, but she gets the ball back, trying to go for a layup, and she does not make it. Looks like here's a penalty on Fairview, foul. She'll make the free throw 26. That is a six point game. Naylon Yeager with the ball. Moving down half court. Gives I want to shout out Katie Welker, one of my good friends. Gives it, and it's a rebound for Jesse Nall. Danny Wicks will take the ball. Danny Wicks being a, and a layup. 
Danny Wicks is being a key factor in this Indian scoring driving game today. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, sir. Nice steal, number one. Katie Cantwell. Now we're under a minute left in the third period. Nice steal by Nalen Yeager. Wide open. And the layup oh, with a foul. The layup. One foul for the Lady Jackets and five fouls for the Indians. The fouling toll game has taken a major turn in this second half. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, I will, William. Nalen looks to make her one free throw shot, but it does not succeed. However, they get the ball back. Kendall Spicer to Brooke Visser to Chloe Lee. Sounding like an auctioneer there. Chloe Lee is such a good dribbler, I shall say. Kelsey Gossage shot, ooh, way too short. Puts it up there again, too high. Under five seconds left in this game. Indians have it, not in this game, my bad people. That is the end of the period. Back to the game. Fairview's ball, it is a six point game. The Indians do have some good press defense, I do say so myself. Nice block. Shot a little too high for a layup and a penalty. <laughs> Lexi Hearn. to Jesse Nall, who gives it to Gar Stewart, who falls. Looks like she was pushed. Indians ball. Nice pass to Lexi Hearn. Lexi Hearn comes up and looks like she got the foul, but short of the layup. There will be a free throw. The foul will be on Nalen Yeager for the Yellow Jackets. I want to give another shout out to Gracie Hawk and Taylor Vilderback.
looking to make a second one. She does not make any of them. She is over two on that shot. Looks like there was a ball type from Riley Dillingham. And Leah Adams. Haley Butchery now checks into the game for Naylan Yeager. To number two, Lisa Watson who passes it back to Lexi Hearn. Shot and barely oh, misses. And the Indians attempts. missed a free throw. Chloe Lee with the ball who passes it to Riley Dillingham. Back nice to Chloe pass. Lee running down half court. Chloe Lee moving the ball. She's a big factor for this yellow jacket. Lady Jackets. Offensive work to Kendall Spicer. Shots for the three, right over it. Oh, out of bounds. Ball goes out of bounds. That'll be four fouls for the Lady Jackets and five fouls for the Indians. It is still a six point game. Lexi Hearn will be taking the ball, passes it to Danny Wicks. Lexi Hearn has the ball just right outside of the arc. Andy is trying to go for a free layup. Chloe Lee has the ball moving down court. Passes to Kelsey Gossage, who was open for a second. Shot, too bouncy to make it into the net. Lexi Hearn wide open on that pass there. Okay, number 30, Kelsey Gossage with a snag. And number 20, Jesse Nall takes the pass, the steal, gives it to Lexi Hearn. And a three pointer. It's a three point game, ladies and gentlemen. I repeat, a three point game with five minutes left. Lexi Hearn has the ball moving downfield, down court. My bad. Skims the rim. And a three point. This game is back at a six point game. Number deficit. 34, Kendall, Kendall Spicer. Spicer with the three. The score is now 37 to 31. And there's a break.
These cheerleaders do have a good performance coming on, keeping the crowds up and alive. The jacket side is getting restlessly loud. Four ten remaining. Fourth period. Five fouls for the Indians. Four four. It's a close game, William. Just a six point deficit. Rolls over, however, the rebound is Tries to slim it off. Naylon Yeager has it with wide open court. And drops the ball. No problem moving the ball this period. Three minutes left in fourth quarter. They're taking it and a three pointer. 37, 33, I thought it was a three-pointer. It is a two-pointer. Naylon Yeager with the rebound, gives it to Chloe Lee. Under three minutes left to play in the fourth period. Chloe Lee takes the ball. Here comes Chloe with the ball. Who passes it to number 30, Kelsey Gossage. To number 10, Gracie Shelby. That'll be four fouls for the Lady Jackets and seven fouls for the Indians. Naylon Yeager with the free throw. Right now it is a four point game. Misses the free throw, picks the rebound up himself, Naylon Yeager. Kelsey Gossage wide open, getting those Spicer, shoots it. Bounces right off the rim. It's a close game, William. Very Indians much is. <laughs> Danny Wicks moving the ball down court. Number 20 for the Lexi Hearn and she makes the layup. Two point the game. Now, 37 and 35. Here is Riley Dillingham with the ball who passes it back to Chloe Lee, guarded by number 21.
There's a foul whistle blowing. One minute and 12 seconds left. This game is a two point game. Chloe Lee will take a free throw shot. Misses it. Lexi Hearn gets it. A minute 10, five fouls for Fairview, eight for Harpeth. <laughs> Under a minute left to play, Under it's a, a close left. game, William. It is very much a close game. Under Lady Jackets are winning by two points. An easy layup will tie it. A three-pointer for Harpeth will exceed their lead. And I, I'm on the edge of my seat to see how this final minute ends. I'm very nervous, William. I hope the Lady Jackets win. Don't let out the Harpeth Indians who could come back with a nice three. They could. 47 seconds left in the game. And the, sw and the crowd is loud. No mistakes needed. Forty-three seconds left. The ball looks to be put in the free throw line with Kelsey Gossage. This is looking to be her third time up there tonight. Riley Dillingham gets it out to Kendall Spicer, puts it in the hands of Kelsey Gossage. Kelsey moves back court, gives it to Chloe Lee. Chloe Lee brings it back, just trying to fall some time out. Another free throw for Kelsey Gossage. William, there are 27 seconds left in the game. You think they'll make it? Depends on who ends with the ball. Who ends with the ball. If Kelsey Gossett makes his free throw. Fourth time at the line tonight. Just one more go. A three point game. The clock stops with 10 seconds. Three point game in the fourth period. Six fouls for the Lady Jackets, 10. Can't make the layup. With six seconds on the clock. The Lady Jackets look to get another free throw.
Number 30, Kelsey Gossage. The fifth time at the line tonight. This is the first one. Six seconds left in the game, William. This one, three point deficit at the moment. With this shot, I say that Fairview wins if she makes the shot. It's anybody's game. And four, three, with a penalty to stop the clock at one second. One second, the timeout, Harpin. This is a three point game in the fourth period with 1.6 seconds left on the clock. However, do not underestimate it. This game is still up for grabs. This game has been a nail biter all night long. <laughs> Looks like they're warming up with one second left in the game. Lady Jackets 38, Lady Indians. That's the game, ladies and gentlemen. And the Lady Jackets have won 38 to 35. Can you believe it, William? It was pretty, I hate to say it, but I think the game was chosen a little too early in the start. However it goes, ladies and gentlemen, my name is William Cundiff. And my name is Anaya Lavender, and we are signing out. And we are here with Bruce Johnson, Stephen Rocco, Sean Grayson on the camera. Big shout out to Mr. King, the TV teacher at Fairview High. This video will be posted on Fairview High YouTube channel. Nice job, ladies. Have a good day, ladies and gentlemen.